A very good morning, Zimbabwe. Mamuka say, Mamuka say, Mamuka say. So, we are talking about um, President uh, Julius Malema coming out to call President Mnangagwa to order. That is um, when President Mnangagwa uh, began the reverse of land reform program. The reason why we are bringing this series is because we have seen a lot of people coming up uh, saying that no Sunchamisa want to reverse the gains of the liberation struggle, but um, indeed the President Mnangagwa is presiding over that avenue of re of reversing the gains of the liberation struggle. Let us take a, a look on this very important issue here, an issue which we cannot uh, just ignore like that. Very, very, very um, important. Let us uh, listen. We can't resolve anything. Mnangagwa must go. The people of Zimbabwe deserve a better leader. The people of Zimbabwe deserve a revolutionary who will continue with the land question of Zimbabwe. Mnangagwa is the highest sellout ever in the history of African politics. He must be known as a sellout and not as a revolutionary. Anyone who reverse the land question in Zimbabwe and compensate white people for a stolen land is a sellout. And that's what Mnangagwa is. Another sellout is going there to join each other in the selling out. So after listening to, 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 to this, uh, Julius Malema speaking, one can just conclude that uh, what is happening uh, right now, we are seeing uh, the reverse of, uh, of, of the, the, the liberation struggle gains. And we need to deeply look into that uh, issue here live on this platform and see whether the assertions by Julius Malema are true. So we need to look at um, the principles of the liberation struggle of Zimbabwe. So uh, it's very important because when we are fighting, we need our people to understand uh, that um, uh, Nelson Chamisa is not selling out. Let us um, uh, find the, 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 the principles of, um, of the liberation struggle. Kuti Zwakanga Zwakambo Mira say, why was, um, why was the, the, the war fought and uh, why were the, the people uh, why, 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 why were the people involved in, 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 in all that? Saga, you know, the, let me put it right here on the screen. Because uh, we need to clarify these things. We need to make sure that we, we clarify these things. And uh, that is very, very, very uh, important because what was happening that we had pieces and uh, if you if you if you look at those people lines my pieces uh, these were very very uh important people these were at uh, taxes my exorbitant taxes and um, these were people wakanga were displaced from their own land and wakanga was in land and um, what julius malema is actually saying here is, uh, is true because uh, we cannot continue to have one. I know we are very, actually, we are revolutionaries, yet they are not real revolutionaries. They are against the revolution, they are against the ethos and values of the liberation struggle and why the people of Zimbabwe went to war, why the people of Zimbabwe perished. Up to this day, but uh, we have people who celebrate. Um, and the question they fail to, to, to ask is why did the people of Zimbabwe go to, to, to war? That is what is very important. So, Pana Paparon's Peasant Consciousness and Guerrilla War in Zimbabwe by Terence Ranger addresses a recent research interest in formal uh, invisible everyday resistance, for example, tax evasion in the context of peasant colonial history. For the war period, he combines, okay, this is a um, the 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 introduction of of it um right i'm missing the actual page which i wanted to 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 show you here let me try to to see if my system can open the actual page here about the reason why the people went to war saka it's very important. Uh, 
So it was an issue of the white minority. These are minority people. occupy your country and controlling all resources. And those are the same people. So that was the basis of the war. Uh, where it was based on the issue of land. And the issue of land, I can tell about three key things. These three key things, the Kanga Shripa land, Pakanga Paninya tourism. That was point number one. The issue of tourism was in, involved when, when people went to war, they were looking at the issue of tourism. That is number one. The people were looking at the issue of minerals. That is number two. The people were looking at the issue of farming. That is number three. So, three key things why people went to the liberation struggle were based on tourism, land, um, and um, oh, sorry, tourism, minerals, and 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 farming. That is the, the 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 encompassed in the name land. That is the major reason why people went to war. So when they were fighting, what was happening is that they wanted the minerals of Zimbabwe to retain to remain in Zimbabwe to benefit the people of Zimbabwe to be beneficiated here in Zimbabwe. That did not happen. That is not uh, that that was not happening during the, the the time of Smith. Those minerals were being taken out to to England. But at a later stage, you can actually see that when Smith left power, he left reserves, gold reserves, in um, in the bank. But those reserves are no longer there. Those reserves were looted and um, they, they 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 were stolen by the people we have right now. These are the people who are actually reversing the the, the liberation struggle. So if you look at the issue of mining right now in Zimbabwe. The reason why I agree with Julius Malema is because uh, when 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 um, when we were doing mining, in, when we are doing mining right now, the people um, of Zimbabwe are benefiting uh, two percent, less than five percent, uh, in terms of royalties. And um, taxes is VAT and other uh, taxes is associated mining houses. But um, what is the purpose of land? Is to make sure that it benefits the people of Zimbabwe. What is the the policy? Not what is the the ideology of ZANU-PF? They say we are communists. So when you are communists, you are pursuing an ide ideology where you 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 believe that the communities should own resources. That is what they are pursuing as communists. So what is what should happen is that um, a community uh, they, they 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 must benefit the people of Zimbabwe. They must benefit everyone uh, in the nation of Zimbabwe but the minerals are only benefiting a few and um, those few people uh, you, you can actually see that uh, they are elites if you look at uh, what is happening right now Landela has bought uh, several mines in, in, in the nation of Zimbabwe and when they are buying those mines in Zimbabwe uh, you can actually they are, are privatizing to make sure that uh, only a few individuals will remain owning the the, the 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 resources so where is that communism they always preach about each and every day because mine yaku indaku owner mine in i'm now a mine owner does it be does the community benefit from that mine no it's because in notora maria say and a mine doji gai nene muri yangu do waka zimbara kanaka don't think that zimbabwe na sent to nukuna na europe Muriye Zimbabwe is a chitambuzika. Hakuna zupata razwa wako, hakuna maroza wako. But I ma, mimes are only one ma communities. Ukaenda ku village rikuwa mtoko. A village riku ona a mine. You see kuti ma profits from that mine. Ano enda ono waka chukoro. Ano enda ono gazira road. Ano enda ono waka zupata ma clinics. They will uh, employ uh, ma, 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 a, 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 a workforce. Koko koko pa zupata ra. Ma teacher. Every community can take care of its people or, or of, of the people who are around then you give a certain percentage to the government where the government is now distributing because not every village can do mining uh, in terms of gold so you are now distributing those resources a certain percentage to other villages without that is how uh, communism should work so if you go to the countries which exercise communism, that is what they do. But here they tell you that we are doing communism, but it's not true. They are not doing communism. They are capitalists because the people who are now owning mines, these are ZANU-PF people, my leaders within ZANU-PF, very powerful people, are the people who are owning my mine, are the people who are owning everything. So the resources, according to communism, are, they must be owned by the people. This is the reason why Julius Malema is saying Zimbabwe does need um, a, a, a leader with a clear vision, Yakuti, 
are preserving the liberation struggle, the ethos and the values of the liberation struggle. And that person is advocate Nelson Chamisa. Because if you look at his policies, advocate Nelson Chamisa is, is, is clear. He's saying, number one, we want to give people a title. Number two, we want to make sure that communities begin to own my resources. Mining is done by the government and mining is benefiting the communities. That is advocate Nelson Chamisa's policy, which means the government is, is not going to, to rely on taxation. The government is going to rely on its own uh, production. But let us take a look on the issue of, of agriculture. We have arable land here in Zimbabwe. We have good, um, uh, good um, um, weather here in Zimbabwe. We have um, strategic places to place my dams here in Zimbabwe. Tikaisa, my dams on all those strategic places Zimbabwe can can do farming 24/7 that is January to December without stopping none stopping which means all seasons get anything which means we can have our own wheat our own soya beans our own maize uh, we can have zedu we can have mbuzi zedu and everything so if you look at on all those things that was the idea of the liberation struggle and what Julius Malema is saying here the sellouts are now selling that th those opportunities back to the whites and now compensating whites why are you compensating whites P -p paying three b uh, more than 3.5 billion to the people who actually annexed and stole um uh, the land and, and and cattle from our parents you are actually giving them back or you are compensating them and giving them back land that is the honest truth and the honest reality this is the reason why you are saying let us register to vote because it goes, uh, what is happening goes against the ethos, the values, and the principles of the liberation struggle. The, the, there is no respect of the liberation struggle in Zimbabwe anymore. And only President Nelson Chamisa can come and begin to deal with those issues because he does have policies which are direct, policies which are going to benefit the people How? by making sure that every village is running a community project. Every village is, is, is benefiting, is running its own company. That is how you begin to, 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 to develop your people. Every village is running a company. So how many villages is attending it in Adzum, Zimbabwe? So if we are to do it per, per word, Kuti Wad Yega Yega is running a, a community company. We, are, we, are, we have 1,200 words uh, in Zimbabwe. And from 1,200 words, which means we have 1,200 companies. And each company is specializing in the region of 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 the region is making sure that they are maximizing. That is the point of Nelson Chamisa. If we go to 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 consume Zinama minerals, they are doing mining. And if if you look on all those things with every word, you could run a company. Uh, you see, with a community in Sarah Kumashuri. Saka instead they could capitalists away. Otora the the Otora 80% of our resources and our value. We are now benefiting that 80%. It's simple. It's simple. So from that alone, you see, Guti, Matotanga to Gadrisa Nika, Kunamana no Badara Quenoch Patara, Kunamana no Anoshaya Road, Kunamana no Badara Fees, because Matotanga ku Gadzira Nyaya, Zacho Zirkudiwa Munik. So the policy of advocate Nosun Chamisa itself, guys, is centered on the people. Yet, Zanu PF um, policy is centered on the elite. So, you can actually see that the Rhodesian Bush War, which is called the, the Second Chimurenga, um, at this moment in time, it is being uh, attacked and it is being destroyed by the same people who claim to be the people on the forefront of the struggle. So, this is it in Zimbabwe. Uh, I agree with uh, Julia, Julius Malema on this one that time. Um, there is uh, a, a, a deliberate selling out which is happening within the government of Zimbabwe. And we need to deal with that aspect. We need to make sure that we vote for change. We vote wisely in 2023. Nelson Selemani, how far? Okay, um, that issue, let me bring it because the dates, Zima protests are good. I will talk with you in say now I have those dates. So uh, let me prepare everything, uh, put everything together. Then I bring that issue uh, back on this platform to Batai Taura. 
about Susan Mtami. Thank you very much, Nelson, for, for, for asking. And um, uh, because the, the, the UN 77th session uh, was opened on the 13th of September, and um, and we are going to, to see Kuti Mama ma heads of state, such as Wongana Papi. That is the reason why Ndaka could say 21 September, debt, Irora Kakosha. 21 September is key in everything which is being done is in the, in the politics of Zimbabwe. 21 September is very important. So I will come with a presentation, Yakazara, with facts to Batai Taura. Then uh, we, we move on to other issues. Total Saturnot, Jeruku Buda, Mabudido Iwayo. But uh, guys, it's not guaranteed. Let us prepare for 2023 elections. That is my advice to the people of Zimbabwe. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for the support. Let us continue to register to vote. Let us continue to uh, support advocate Nelson Chamisa. Because change is coming and Nelson Chamisa is the next president of the Republic of Zimbabwe.